The excitement system has a feature where you can have a video play every time you hit the start timer button. You could use this for a safety video if you want it to run at the beginning of each session or you could also use it as a marketing ploy. We have people that will sell a 30 second commercial every time everybody comes into the lane you can hit it and it could be a little ad for the pizza place down the street or the real estate agent across town um, or even for a upcoming thing you have maybe you have a league coming up and you want to run a quick little 20 second 30 second video that says join our league so you can run whatever you want in the little video it's very easy to make a video and to have it automatically run if you're not using the timer or if it's a situation, say, where people come in and you run a safety video for them, then two more people show up, you can also have the video auto run by hitting the letters Control V on the keyboard. So the hotkey Control V will also fire it up. So let's take a look at how we do this. The first thing we have to do is get the proper video format. So there's a lot of video formats out there, MOVs and and uh, mp4s etc we're going to want a webm file so if you're downloading something off youtube if you've made your video and you put it up on youtube and you download it or you've got it it might be a mov or a w or mp4 we want to convert it to a webm so if i click on uh, do a search for convert mp4 to webm you'll see there's a bunch of free converters out there and one that we like is the freeconvert.com um, so here it'll take me straight to that and uh, if you're doing any other type of format there's all kinds of converters for your video converters and you can go through and it'll, it'll convert from any style you're gonna see there's a lot of ads that keep on popping up all over this thing the start now is actually an ad and these things on the side these Best Buy these are all ads so you can kind of ignore those when you're done with your video it will not have any advertising or watermark on it so this is a good free tool to use they're just paying for their free tool by running some ads on it so the first thing we want to do is set a couple of settings on our video before we even choose the file so the first thing we want to do is choose the video codec and for that we want to choose vp8 okay now if you have a very large video and it's a very high quality video it can cause some problems so you can always try it at uh, a certain resolution and you know some settings we're going to look at here uh, you can try it higher and if it causes any problem just squash it down a little bit that way it, it runs smoother so for example here we're going to keep the quality factor uh, the best quality sitting here that's no problem the screen size we're going to say it's going to be a 640 by 480 and you can set that to to what you want uh, video aspect ratio video frame rate can affect how big your file is and how it works so we're gonna say we're going for 25 frames per second which is a, a, a pretty good rate then you can also have the audio codec have that be L I B V O R B I S see that one there so that's what you want to choose okay now you can also remove the audio as well that's another option but if you are going to have audio in there make sure that you choose the uh the lib vorbis that is there okay so that will uh that will work with our system now concerning audio if you are going to run audio then you're going to have to run a 3.5 millimeter output from the computer to a uh, amplifier and speakers and however you want to project the audio we'd kind of suggest against it we found that if you have each of the lanes running audio and you got 10 lanes in there and they're always starting it can get very loud and confusing you'll be tired of hearing the videos over and over again so we like doing our stuff with no audio so I'm going to remove the audio from it and just have it be a, uh, a thing with a couple of subtitles on it okay so now we have to choose a file and so you uh, just scroll around until you find the file you want I've got one here called to wet mp4 I happen to own a paintball field um, and a uh, scuba shop so we made this video so after I've chosen what one it is we hit convert so now this video 
is uh, it's about a 20 or 30 second video that we've tossed out on YouTube. It's uploading it right now, and now it's converting it. And you can see it's 1% done and 6% done, so it won't take too long if it's a relatively short video. If it's a longer video, then it could take a little more time in order to do the download. So after you're done downloading this thing, you're going to want to save it. And in order to get it onto your computers, you're going to want to put it on a thumb drive. So you get a USB thumb drive. So uh, you're going to save it to the hard drive first is what I do. That way I've got a copy of it there. And then I can drag and drop it onto the thumb drive. Then you're going to take the thumb drive up to the computers one at a time. And you can put it in and then click to download it. The way the system works, you don't have to leave it on the thumb drive and leave the thumb drive in the computer. It will download from the thumb drive onto the hard drive of the mini PC. And then you can unplug that thumb drive, take it to the next one, and do it again. So you can see now that it's done, I'm going to download this file. And so then it tells me I can save the thing, so I'm going to save it. And then uh, it's going to be into my downloaded files. So here it is here. I'm going to open up that. Here is the WEBM file, and I am just going to copy that and now I'm going to just take it onto my C drive and paste it and I've already done it here it is to wet dot w e b m so I would just drag and drop that onto the thumb drive and then I'm ready to go okay so let's take a look at how it actually works on the system so now if you go into your admin you can see that off of settings there is a safety video and you can disable the safety video if you don't want it on but if you do you need to set well what one are we doing and this will take you to a browse and you will just go to the thumb drive in order to click it and bring it in after you have it on the thumb drive and click it again you don't need to leave the thumb drive in so I'm going to say it says too wet WEBM and I'm going to select that now here I didn't pull it off my thumb drive I'm just pulling it off my C drive because I'm making a video but you get how that works so now that I've done that I can hit done here and I can close this and you'll see as soon as I start my timer my uh, I'm going to choose a 90 minute game here and as soon as I do it starts up my video so if it's uh, too wet for paintball and uh, you're done axe throwing you can sit there and do some scuba or uh, come play uh, paintball indoors we have an indoor paintball field it's where my axe locations are inside my paintball fields so I have kind of a, a multi-use facility and so this could be a little ad that I could run or it's an ad for the pizza place or whoever as soon as I'm done it takes me to my normal screens and I can go in here and I can I can continue on and start playing my games if somebody shows up late like I said just holding down the control and hitting the letter V will pop up the video again if the video is going and you want to stop it you can go into your admin file and there will be a uh, close when you when you go into the admin settings there's a close video which will then close it so if it's a four minute video you have in there um, and you accidentally hit the control V you can just go close it now another thing that we want to point out is you can change where this video shows up so if we go into our edit positions now we can see that there is a choice for the safety video so I can have the safety video up there since I have it loaded I'm going to hit my control V and I can see where it's running and this is a ballpark area where it's going to be but I can choose to make this whole the video bigger or I can make the video smaller whatever I want so I can take my safety video and I can I can move this thing around I'm gonna to go to large increments here so you can see that when I when I move it I'm making it smaller and I can push it up or I can push it down and I can put it to where it looks best on my system and so that's if I need to do it again I'm just gonna hit my control V again and this is giving me the basic ballpark where I need to be and I'm gonna take it down even smaller then I'm going to turn off my large increments and make just a little bit smaller so that'll move it a little bit at a time so I can adjust the size and space of the video onto my boards and then when I'm done I'm simply going to close this 
and there we are that's how the video is going to run on my system and it'll be done here in a second and there we are and now we're back to uh, to our game and if I would hit uh, my control V now we'll see that I have placed it to be up at the top basically where the scoreboard is for best viewing visibility on my system so that's how that works if you have any questions shout anytime <laughs>